hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel samantha polak i know it's been a minute i know i know i know but in today's video i want to talk about my silver hair journey and a few weeks ago i posted a instagram story on my instagram and i asked you to send me some questions about my silver hair journey so today i'm gonna answer those questions and i know it's been like probably three weeks ago but you still need this video we still need it okay <laughs> my advice is do whatever you want to do if you want to cut your hair just do it it will grow back but i do understand that you're a little bit insecure about the big job or you're a little bit insecure about cutting your hair because i was too when i decided to do the big job eight or nine months ago uh, i was thinking about you know the shape of my head will the taper cut suit me or will my curls be popping just like my curls were popping when i had color treated hair so i do understand the insecurities but don't listen to them don't listen to them just cut your hair if you want to cut it cut it so i get a lot of questions about my silver hair texture my silver hair is definitely different than my color treated hair or when i had color treated hair um it's a little bit more coarse i have to use a lot more products the amount of products i use is definitely a lot more than when i had color treated hair um the texture is also more frizzy um yeah it's it's different but how i deal with the different hair textures is i use enough product and now for example the wash and goes um i have to do my wash and goes on soaking wet hair when i had color treated hair and when i had longer hair i could do my hair i could do the wash and goes on damped hair but now my hair needs to be soaking wet and i use a lot product on my on my short hair and on my silver hair um, so that's the difference um, I don't mind the frizzy hair because with silver hair your hair is gonna look a lot more frizzy than when you have color treated hair so I kind of embrace the frizz also when I had long hair and also when I had color treated hair I embrace the frizz so I don't really mind the frizz but now um, for example the wash and go this is a wash and go the wash and go on my color treated hair would last me probably seven days but the wash and go on my silver hair it would last me three days four days max but three days and after the three days i have to refresh my curls um or i have to do the wash and go again because simply the wash and go on my silver hair will not last me more than four days and also a lot of people on Instagram ask me how I refresh my curls. Um, I don't really refresh my curls. After the second day of my wash and go, I use a little bit product on my fingers and then I coil the ends. And I focus on the strands that are really frizzy. So just a little bit products on the on the on my fingers and I coil the ends and that's it. On Sunday I'm gonna upload a video on how I refresh my curls, so stay tuned. Did you attempt to or think about growing out your silver before you actually did it? I started my silver hair journey last year, February, March. And I transitioned until October. So I transitioned for eight months. And after two months of transitioning, I already knew that I'm not gonna transition. I'm gonna do the big job because I thought transitioning was easy, but it was not easy. <laughs> it was everything else besides easy. <laughs> also, one of the reasons why I decided to transition was because I wanted to give myself some time to get used to my silver hair before I did the big job. People's reaction on my silver hair is amazing. Most of the people think that I dyed my hair and the positive feedbacks overpowers the negative feedback also on the internet but in real life i never got a negative comment or a ne negative reaction on my silver hair so i think it's amazing they love it i love my hair and the, that's the most important thing that you love yourself and you love 
whatever grows on your head and I think that shows I show that to the people I showed it to the world and there is I don't know there is not a comment that will break me down favorite hair product I'm gonna make a favorite hair product video on this channel because that video is long overdue but for now my favorite hair products are I love the curls blueberry line um, the leave-in conditioner and the curl control jelly and also from curls but that's the cashmere line I love the hair pomade oh my edges I use the hair pomade on my edges for this video oh I love um, I also love the um, Kentu Twist and Lock Gel. As I said, I use a little bit of the Twist and Lock Gel on my on my fingers, and then I curl the ends. Oh, amazing, amazing! The Eden Body Works Co Wash. That's my favorite co wash. I'm gonna put all the product details in the description box. Yes, yes, yes. There was a ugly odd stage when i transitioned and i think probably three months in uh, my hair was turning a little bit yellow brownish kind of color um, i had the silver hair and then i had the color treated hair and in between the silver and the color treated hair my hair turned yellowish brownish and i hated that color <laughs> so that was my ugly odd stage and also i saw the people on the street looking at me like what 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 is she doing is that is that silk or did she dye their hair or i think i have to make a separate video on many reasons why i hate transitioning because <laughs> i have a lot of reasons why i hate transitioning so that was my ugly odd stage actually the whole transitioning stage throw that away it's trash <laughs> i'm not gonna say that i hate okay i'm lying i hated the transitioning phase it was an ugly stage in my life the last question i want to talk about it's not really a question but i think i want to give you advice because i get a lot of instagram messages mostly women and um talking about their hair that they don't want to cut their hair or they're afraid about the opinions of others what i want to say is do what you want to do and what if i was listening to the feedback the opinions of others i wouldn't be here you know and also one thing your support system it's everything a support system is everything if i didn't have a supportive family supportive friends supportive audience you guys if i didn't have people cheering me up and telling me that my hair or my big chop is gonna be amazing i would have a different hair journey don't get me wrong i decided to cut my hair and i decided to big chop you know doing the self hair journey for myself by myself but the support system people telling me that my hair is gonna be amazing and people telling me like sam don't mind others just do it just do you um if i didn't have that i would my self hair journey would be a lot different and a lot harder but my family was supportive People also on internet, it's you guys, the audience, a lot, maybe, I will say 90% of my audience was really supportive and you guys were in my life, Instagram life, when I did my big job, so that was amazing. I don't think I have thanked you guys before, but in this video, I definitely want to thank you guys. Thank you for sticking out with me, even though I'm not... On social media a lot anymore <laughs> I know I, I have to do better but even though I'm lacking on social media right now 
I do feel the support when I'm posting and I do feel the support when I'm uploading a YouTube video. So thank you for that and I love you guys. So thank you for the support. Yeah, my battery died. But what I want to say is thank you for your love, for your support, for the sweet comments, for your like. Thank you for sticking with me. I love you guys. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.